Hello everybody, Grace Steel Blazer, we're back with more Brick Rigs. And it was only a matter of time before the epic awesomeness continued to flourish in the realm of trains. Mother of God. Look at this beautiful construction. We've got this thing over here, the PZ Mark II by Verdeth. It is a train. An armored train, but not just any train. It is a train with giant missiles on the back. And not just one missile either. There are missiles everywhere. There's a giant nuketastic missile over here. There's all kinds of stuff going on over here. And then there's like Katyusha rockets up in here. I think that's what he called them. Look at this thing. This is completely insane. Now I assume. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, they all move in unison. It's almost, it's almost disconcerting to look at. Hold on, let me, let's get this thing in motion a little bit. Now, I don't know how well this thing drives. That is a lot of weight this thing is pulling. Someone said too, they were very, oh look, there's a little smoke coming out of it over here. But wow, this thing has some speed to it. 92 kilometers per hour. Now I know from experience, coming up to this turn at 90 kilometers per hour equals bad times. What is this? Rest in peace, Hindenbrick. <laughs> this dude's like, the guy's like hanging over the balcony over here like he's getting sick or something like that. Like he's about to vomit. This is a big map. There's a lot of tracks. But yeah, someone was like, Gray, why don't you go throughout the entirety of the, of the map on the tracks? Uh, all right. While we're moving on the tracks here, I feel it only appropriate to fire some missiles because why not? Let's go ahead and lift this one up right here. Oh god. Oh look! No! Well. Well, well, well. It was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. I think that there was an actual little warning label inside of that vehicle from Verdeth saying don't try to operate the missiles while the uh, vehicle is in motion. The... The train got vaporized. Uh, this is not how many bricks are in that train. There's like 2,600 bricks or something it says. So, most of the train legitimately just got freaking vaporized. All right, let us fire some missiles from a relatively safe position this time. N not mobile. Is that a gun on the front of the friggin' thing too? Oh my God, oh, part of, the, part of the thing was starting to come off there. All right, now, over here, we've got this giant missile, I want to use this here. I'll, I imagine that there's something holding this on. You know? It doesn't really look like there's anything holding it on except for this ring. So, um, crap. Maybe we just fire the thrusters. All right, but, oh crap. Oh God, oh no. Well, that's what happens when you put it in slow motion, boys. Oh, there's still a fairly large piece of the train hanging out. The rest of it, once again, has been completely obliterated. Okay, third time's the charm. I was about to spawn the vehicle, and I thought this was cute. Our guy is legitimately just floating in super slow motion. Oh, right on his head. Oh, no. Come on, man. What is the luck? What is the luck of the draw on that one? There you go, buddy. You, you rest now, my son. Just rest now. All right, I'm a jackass. Apparently it's just uh, alternate and then W to fire the big one. So let's just fire it and see what happens. Fire the missile! Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I'm, oh. It went like really, really far away so we couldn't really see the explosion. That's what I'm talking about though, boys. There we go. Now we're friggin' set. Now we know what's going on over here. Now I imagine we can shoot these if we want. Crap, crap, no, no. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Oh, only half of the, yes. Oh no. <laughs> I was going to say only half of the train derailed. Oh, check this out. I got Pepe's Ferris wheel over here. Target acquired boys. We're going to be shooting this thing out of the fricking, well, I can't say out of the sky. We're going to be shooting it though. All right, let me go ahead and line on up here. We're gonna line on up, right like this. Right like that, don't go anywhere now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move this thing on up. All right, piece of it's coming off, no big deal though. Um, let's see here, a little bit, right about like that. Don't you fall over now, Pepe Ferris wheel. I wanna shoot you down myself. 
All right, right about there. And then just a, a little, like a little bit higher, I think. Probably right about like that. Okay, that should do it. Here we go. Here we go. Now, once I fire this, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, oh, crap, crap, hold on. I'm gonna have to do it in super slow motion. Otherwise, it's not gonna look as pretty. All right, here we go. Here we go, ready? And fire. Well, crap. I will say though, yeah, that was a direct hit. I thought it was gonna be too low, but well, crap. There, <laughs> oh, all those secondary explosions. Oh, Pepe. Yeah, I hope your Ferris wheel has insurance on it, partner, because that thing just got liquefied. Now that's what I'm talking about. Remember how we were trying to blow this thing up before, and we were having all kinds of trouble. That is a missile. That missile right there is the way to Gray's heart. That missile, this is interesting. It like ripped the Ferris wheel in half. Like look, one side of the Ferris wheel is over there. One side of the Ferris wheel is over here. And bloop, there goes the Ferris wheel. All little compartments breaking apart. Bricks in there have you flying everywhere. Again, a beautiful, beautiful Ferris wheel. Fantastic, what is this? Oh, the base still stands. Wow, after that direct hit too, because we, we basically like hit the base with that giant missile. Spam tracks back with the Southern Pacific GS4 1.2. This, man, his trains are like really, really good looking spam track over here. Southern Pacific lines, nice and small too. I mean, in comparison. So I'm curious though, what the, right over here. Oh, there's our little buddy right there. Man, that is a cramped friggin' quarters to be piloting this thing in, but I guess that's the way it goes. So one of the things I've been curious about, oh yeah, look at the steam coming out of it. That looks legit. Hold on, yes, right like this. That is a, that is a beautiful looking train right there. I don't find myself often attracted to trains, but if I was so inclined, this would be a beauty. Now, I did want to get around the, uh, I did want to get around the map here. Now, we only have two carts, so we should hug, hug the tracks pretty good. You can see right now, getting up to about 83 kilometers per hour. Oh, we're getting a little bit of the wobble there in the back. That's always scary. When you start getting that rearward wobble, you gotta watch out, man. Next thing you know, train particles are flying all over the place. Oh, we got a little divot over here. So yeah, I mean, I, the exploration of this map, this is a big map too. I haven't done very much of it because I've been blowing everything up. Now to be fair, blowing things up is what I'm good at. Exploration, eh, we'll give it a four out of 10. But the blowing things up, sometimes things that aren't even flammable I can blow up. Beautiful view of the canyon over here as we kind of wander around. Again, a nice languid 86 kilometers per hour. I don't want to go too fast. There's enough dips and wines and stuff like that where if I go too fast, I'll probably end up losing the entire cart. But uh, right about here, this seems to be the sweet spot for the most part. It gets me moving at a pretty good clip. Uh, yeah, see right there, see how we're starting to shake a little bit? You can see the old caboose over here starting to kind of give you a little bit of the shimmies. You don't want those shimmies, man. Oh, is that a bridge up there? Hold on, it looks like there's a bridge or something up here. Oh, it is a bridge with the road and all, everything too. How sweet is that? Wow, that is a, uh, okay, that's actually a pretty long ways down, damn. I hope you guys aren't afraid of heights. It's a simulative height though, you know, it's not the real thing. It's just something to look at in the game. Now this is perfectly straight, so we are able to get some pretty good speed here. You can see 93 kilometers per hour is right about where this thing uh, kind of ends at in its full in its full forward motion. Oh man, there was a little downhill area right over here and the poor train went flying off. Hold on, it can still go, it's fine. It's still working, uh, no, not anymore. All right, well, we can go check this out. Well, I just found out where the freaking train tracks end. Thanks, developer. <laughs> right off the cliff, right off the cliff into Death Canyon over here. That'll do it. All right, so we've seen a couple of cool trains, but there's some other sweet stuff on the market too. And you guys know it, I'm not gonna, it's not all trains all the time. There's a lot of cool stuff in Brick Rigs. So, to the city we go. Joshua Ford back with the Zill 135 artillery, but this time it's remotely controlled. That seems cool. Uh, so basically what it says here, 
is that uh, the new update improved the rails and allows us to build remotely controlled missiles. After spending a large amount of time trying to compact my design, I finally cre uh, created something I'm proud of. This is going to be cool. So we can control the missile. Now, that should be sweet. So use the missile camera to aim the turret, disengage the rails, toggle the thruster, and use the mouse to control the missile's pitch and roll. I've got to give this a shot. So now we can control all the directions and everything of the missile. Oh, Lord. Oh, buildings and targets of my fancy. You must not know. All right. So we got ourselves... We got ourselves a target way in the distance over here. Gonna use the camera. Kinda aim on up like this. Uh, yeah, right about, right about there should be pretty good. Okay, now, once we have that like that, all right, disengage the rails, and let's see here. Go like this, like this, and now all we have to, I assume all we have to do is just fire it off. Let's give it a shot. Actually, you know what? Hold on, let's do it, let's do it from here. Fire the missile! Alright, there. Oh, God. Well. Um. Whoops. Yeah, let's, um. Let's do it out. Let's do it out over some, like, open ground first. Alright, I got it. So, basically, you fire this thing. Hold on, let me aim this up a little bit more. You fire this thing. You go into the camera. And then, you can, like, control it. So, let's do that there. Hold on. We're gonna go into the camera, but not that camera for right now. I want, I want, hold on here. I want this, that camera. Okay, good. So now let's go ahead and get the disengagements off of this thing and then we'll fire it. All right, so disengage. Oh, really? Disengage. All right, here we go. Enable thruster. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it's a little bit hard to go. <laughs> it moves really, really fast. So it's a little bit hard to control, but holy crap, it actually works. All right, I got things slowed down heavily. I think we can do this this time. All right, now, enable thruster. Okay, now, here we go. We're, we're in the missile. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Crap. Crap. Oh, I'm already in a dead spin to the ground. Oh, Lord. All right, well, this is a fantastic opportunity to really take a look at these grass. At these grasses right here. Ah, but we're fine. We're moving so slow. Oh, I, I might be able to lift it up. I might be able to... Oh, the problem is I'm in a giant spin right now. Oh, oh, can I counteract this spin, I wonder? I'm trying. Oh, I'm starting to slow it down. Oh, not really. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Pull up. Pull up. No, no, not down. Not down. Up. Well, kind of like that. There you go. Yes. Excellent. All right. We'll just skate on the ground. This is good, too. There we go. I'm, I'm arcing it. Crap. I just ran into the... I just ran into the train tracks. Well... At least there was nothing for me to destroy. I mean, like, normally I end up usually, like, nuking some poor building or something like that. But this time, I think we turned out pretty good. So, the remote control works. But the question is, is there something even bigger? And the answer is yes. Let me show you boys this. While we're at it. While we're at it, Joshua. Sorry, man. But I think you know what time it is. Yeah, there we go. And that's, the, look at this thing. The 135 can take a damn fine hit, too. Right back on its wheels. Good job. All right, boys. There it is. Check this out. This is the nuclear missile truck by Floopy, the creator. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. L oh, crap. Oh, God. No, no, no. No, no, no. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Please. I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean to do this. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I don't think it's going to explode. I think, luckily, I think it's just... <laughs> Oh my god, the thrusters are hitting random things. I think it's just gonna kind of like sit on the <sighs> Why not? Why not? How bad? How bad is the shock wave? I don't think it's that bad. I think realistically we're only gonna see like maybe one or two buildings go down. Yep Two buildings that means there's plenty more to go. All right nuclear missile truck this time with hundred percent less failure go ahead and move this thing over here kind of swing it around swing it like this there we go there we go now don't you worry I'm not going to just be blowing up these these freaking office buildings over here there's other stuff for us to blow up too all right now let's go ahead and whoa oh look at that 
That's how you get it set up, boys. All right. So that's page up, page down. Now, how do you how do you elevate the actual like this portion over here? The page up, page down. All right. All right. I went ahead and read the instructions this time. My wife would be friggin' proud. All right. So now we've raised it up. Now, now you can't go back and forth with this thing. So you gotta pick your targets here. All right. Right about right about like right about like that. There. Right there. Right there. Okay. Now we go ahead and put our our stabilizers down like this in here and now I think yeah yeah that's good okay and now we could fire oh is there a camera here oh this is interesting all right here we go oh crap what the hell did I do this time what did I do oh no I put it in slow motion I blew everything up oh that's right it said don't put things in slow motion otherwise bad stuff will happen 60th times the charm! All hail the Meslo truck! There we go. There we. Did it just like curve? Look at this curve over here! What is this bullcrap? Yeah! But it doesn't matter. The curve was absolutely perfect. Right in the middle. Right in the middle of all of the targets. And the targets come crash. Wow. That was a lot of damage. That is a hell of a missile. That is a fantastic missile, actually. Oh, is I gonna get this building too? Way to go, game creator. You have managed to level the entire block. You're one of the few, one of the proud, one of the individuals who can successfully say that they've destroyed a large part of Brick Rigstopia over here. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, sure, Gray, that missile can attack a giant ass building that it can't possibly miss. But can it blow up Joe's Super Motel? That's right, it's Joe's Super Motel. Brought to us by Tom Loco. And, uh, <laughs> I guess the bathroom is offline or something like that. There's your security camera right there. What? Look at this. So, what do we got inside over here? Oh, we have Mr. Brickman. He's uh, kind of sitting around watching things very languidly uh, as the uh, as the populace comes in and spends their money inside of the these beautifully furnished rooms. And by furnished, I mean you get like a table, you get like a bed, and that's it. The ceilings are pretty high though, so that's nice. Now supposedly there is a gas tank here. I assume that right there that we need to watch out for because yes, it may be explosive. Well, let me tell you something, Tom. Explosive is what I love the most. Now, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna have to aim up real good for this. Real good, like, right about like that. That should pretty much be perfect. Yeah, right about like that. All right, put, oh crap. I hit the slow motion button. Oh, actually nothing's happening. It's not that bad. All right, now put the, put the stabilizers down. Yes, yeah, slow motion. No, actually I'm gonna take the slow motion off. All right, little stabilizer on the back goes down. And then, damn it, I keep wanting to press that. And then right over here, there we go. The extra stabilizer's right there. Okay, and now, you boys ready? Fire the missile! Oh, the missile's dragging the entire thing with it. Oh wait, hold on, here we go. Now I think that just from the sheer, oh maybe not. I was gonna say, just from the sheer shockwave of the explosion, I would have thought that we would have gotten Joe Super Motel. Oh, Joe Super Motel is being dragged on the ground. Look at this. But Joe Super Motel, Joe, it's fine. It's, I mean, it's got a couple of flaming bricks laying on it. But other than that, it's all oh, the bath sign got knocked off. That was the extent of the damage. All right, second time's the charm. Here we go. Now. That might be a little low, but I have things slowed down just enough to the point where I may be able to make a nuclear missile skip. Now, is this appropriate? Probably not. Is this realistic? Hell no. But in brick rigs, it is the way. Oh no. What? What? Where? How? Why? Wow. Well. The missile just vaporized. All right, Gray's philosophy is when in doubt, get closer. Here we go. That's perfect. 
That right there is absolutely perfect. Sort of. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're actually starting to maybe cause some damage. All right, screw it. We're going to do it in full motion. We're going to do it in full at full speed. That's got to do it. One shot at full speed has got to blow this freaking hotel up. How much more can this thing possibly take? All right. We're going here. Full speed. We're going right, right here. Okay. Move it up just a little bit. And then freaking fire. There we go. That you got to be kidding me. Wh how? What did it blow up before it hit the hotel? There's no way. How is this thing still standing? All right. Tom Loco has built the most impressive hotel ever made in the universe. I'm not having any of it. I'm not having any of it. We're there. It, this has got to do it. This has got to do it. Hold on. I just got to kind of lean it. Hold on. I, maybe if I back up a little bit. Kind of like there. There. Like that. Right there. Okay. Tom? Buddy? You built a fantastic structure. But for real. Fall already! Yes! That was a direct... You gotta be kidding me! Now I know that was a direct hit. Because part of this thing is on fire. So... I guess what we can take from this is that if you do book a stay here over at Joe's Hotel or Motel, if like, you know, the, the apocalypse happens, you're going to be totally safe. All right, we're doing Pepe's gas station. If we can't blow up a hotel, we've got to be able to blow up a gas station, right? Look at this. Now this, I got to see this. Barbarian, your ability to come up with freaking, look at this thing. With freaking amazing buildings is second to none. He says, please forgive him of, uh, of the possible Spanish. So I don't know if any of this is good or bad or whatever. Got the, the bit ass. <laughs> oh, don't hate me for, <laughs> don't hate me for butchering the language, man. Oh no, El Macho. Doesn't that mean like the man, like the manly or something like that? Look at that friggin' tire. Look at this! Look at there's prices on everything! What? Oh man, we got mints, we got chocolates. Look at his freaking chocolate bars. Uno. Is that like the uh the card decks? Well whatever. Motor oil. Look at this. Look at how much look at th this is neat. Okay. I gotta tell you something. When you put this much time into something like this two-stroke oil that's crazy oh bienvenido yes welcome welcome friends welcome to pepe's man you can get everything set up here you get your gas you get your two-stroke oil you can buy whatever the hell that is over there we got tires for sale premium gas e85 oh here for the people that are uh, very very conscious about uh, about the extra low octane gas over there. Look at that regular diesel. This is fantastic. So, Pepe, I mean, you know, this, I can't. Oh, hold on. We got to make the sign move. Yeah, there it is, boys. There it is. I, I knew it. Oh, oh, I wonder too. Now, supposedly there's some lighting structures here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How about some, is there any more lights? I saw like warning lights over there. And then, hold on, let me, um, let, let's take a look at this real quick. Oh, yeah, look at that. How about the inside? Oh, the inside is well lit. You can see everything fantastically. All right, Pepe's. That's cool. Straight up. That's friggin' amazing. But, again, you boys know it has to go. So we're gonna back up. Gonna back up nice and slow, right to about here. Now, now, the hotel managed to withstand the nuclear device. But Pepe's, I think, is going down on this day, boys. Are you ready? Here we go. All right. Missiles inbound. I got things slowed. There it is. There's the initial impact. And Pepe's has liftoff. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it took it like a champ, though. It took it like a champ. Uh, I won't say it's in one piece of the signs up here. I won't say it's in one piece, but it's in surprisingly good condition. 
So we're gonna do a little barbar inception over here. We've got the everything destroyer, except now he has upgraded it. He has upgraded it to be even more powerful than before. Hold on, let me, oh yeah. Look at this, right here. We're gonna aim up and we're gonna blast it. Oh my God. Holy crap, Barbaran. <laughs> what? Oh, I've never thought I would feel like that one creature from RoboCop. You remember the one thing from RoboCop, the, the mech warrior thing? You boys, were you boys around when RoboCop was around? This is incredible! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Um... Okay. I need to get out of this real quick. And, and we need to do something real fast. There it is! Can you see it in the distance? It's the everything destroy. Oh, by the way, look at the look at the improved suspension on this thing. Holy crap! We're gonna go right over all this rubble, and like it's like no problem. Holy jeez, that is awesome! All right, it's the Tower of Pepe, but today Pepe's tower is going down. Okay, well, um. Unfortunately, we cannot destroy Pepe's tower because uh, the frame rate can't handle it. There's too many bricks. What we do have, though, is a beautiful house here from Car Crusher Gaming with the TV inside because I do love my TVs. It also sounds, I got a little bathroom in here looking good. There's your toilet for your uh, explosive diarrhea. Now, from what I understand, there is some danger of explosives in here. We got a little vehicle in here, so I'm kind of curious. Exactly what happens. Exactly what happens when the everything destroyer gets a hold of something like this. Car Crusher Gaming, thank you very much for your house. However, it's time for it to meet its maker. Oh my god. Oh, this thing is incredible. Oh, I can't it's it's firing too fast. I don't even know what I'm shooting at any longer. There we go. There we have it. Wow. What's happening is every once in a while, it's shooting behind the house and it's hitting Pepe's and it was causing everything to slow down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Yep. This gun is amazing. A couple more shots over there for you. There we go. All right, everyone. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. There's a, there's such cool stuff on the on the workshop. I love you guys so much. All this stuff is so neat. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rings. Till the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love. <laughs>